Hey everybody, Brett here, and uh, wanted to give another update today. Um, kind of had a bit of a rough day. Um, committed to myself that I wasn't going to do anything off carnivore, and uh, when I got up this morning, I did not cook anything. I did not cook any bacon or eggs or anything right away because I wanted to delay eating a little while, um, just because I've been eating. Not right as soon as I get up, but very shortly thereafter I get up. So I wanted to delay that a little bit to try to get myself back to two meal a day. And um, I made it until about nine o'clock. Now granted, that's about four hours after, three and a half hours after I got up. But um, made it until about nine o'clock. Then I went upstairs and I cooked my bacon. And um, I cooked that bacon and then I ate that bacon and it was, it was a pound of bacon. I was just, I just felt famished. So I ate, ate, ate. And then around 1230, I just wanted to eat, um, just wanted to eat again. So I went upstairs and I, um, I smoked, I smoked about 16 pounds of uh, pork shoulder on Saturday. So I've got, um, bags of it. Uh, freezer bags full of it and I didn't freeze them all because I was going to eat some during the week this week so I pulled one of those out and I ate that at about it probably wasn't two o'clock maybe 2 30 trying to trying to recall and I don't remember exactly but um so I ate that and then for dinner uh, the plan for dinner tonight was steaks. So I had a ribeye in my sous vide and um, I ate my ribeye at seven o'clock tonight. So I ate three meals today, three full size meals, a um, pound of bacon, a pound of pork. And then the steak was probably a little smaller, maybe 14 ounces, maybe 12 to 14 ounces, I'll call it. So um, very, very hungry day. And then now it's um, 10, 12, so about 10 o'clock. I'm just hungry, hungry, hungry again. Um, so I just ate um, a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Um, just, I don't know, two or three ounces mozzarella cheese to give me something to get my mind and, and tell my, make my mind think, yeah, you ate. So let's, let's move on and go to bed. But it was, um, it was just kind of crazy because I mean the bacon, I don't, I don't particularly, I, I like crispy bacon, but I really like bacon with, with still movement to it. Right. I, I want bacon that's got still visible fat and everything else. So I eat my bacon fatty. Um, the pork shoulder. Um, so I did not trim any fat off the pork shoulders when I got them. And, um, when, once they were smoked and I shredded it, I shredded the, the fat into the pork. So it didn't get rid of any fat there. And when I heated the pork up, um, I heated it up in a microwave. But what I do is I put about a tablespoon of bacon grease in there so that it, it gives it moisture, right? Good moisture, not just a little bit of water or steam or something, but actual pork fat, right? So, um, and then this the ribeye is is a it's a good ribeye, a lot of marbling, and I ate a good part of the fat. There was a little bit of fat I didn't eat because it was just it was too tough. Um, so just did not eat that. But so I got a lot of fat. Um, but I'm still hungry. Um, drank a good amount of water today. Um, so it was just it, kind of a weird day. And, and I think all I can figure is my body is craving, right? Craving pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks, um, which is very frustrating to me because I don't like Starbucks in general. I think their coffee is burnt. Um, I don't like that they kind of, kind of, placate and patronize people to get them to go along with them and, and do all the little crazy um, 
stuff, right? Just either make good coffee and sell good coffee or don't make good coffee and sell it too because that's what Starbucks is doing. But that pumpkin cream is really good. So um, all I can figure is my body has been getting that little bit of sugar every single day and that's that's what I'm craving. So a little frustrating. Uh, I'm going to have to break that habit. Um, but I stayed true today and that was that was an accomplishment for me, right? Because like I said, I've been drinking a pumpkin cream cold brew pretty much every day for the last week at least, just over a week. And um, yeah, it's come to an end. So so that, is, that was my, my good today is the fact that I'm not, um, not drinking those now. Didn't eat anything really off plan. And uh, I did do my tennis today. So all of that was good. Um, and most of the day also, I, I just felt good. Um, now, unfortunately... Uh, some of my pain came back this evening uh, from my surgery. So I still have still have reminiscent pain. It's not real, real bad. It's just, it's probably more, um, more uncomfortableness and pain. Um, I mean, if I had to scale it, I'd scale it at a one. So, but it's, it's frustrating that it's still here and you know, it's going to be here for a while, I assume. So I just got to deal with it. But, but carnivore wise, good day. Um, two forty four. I think I'm two forty four point two or something like that this morning. It's either two forty four point two or two forty two point four. I can't remember. Um, but still in the two forties. I dipped below and it came back up over the weekend. So, um, I just need to stick with it and, uh, yeah, have more days like today where I, I eat a hundred percent meat all the way through a little bit of cheese, but I need to get that sugar out of my system. Uh, I have not taken my blood sugar in a while. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to go into the office, work from the office. Hopefully I'll kind of get back into a little bit of my pattern that I was in before and take my blood sugar when I'm in office. And then that way I can kind of know where things are at. Um, I'm sure with all the sugar from the drinks, I'm not going to be in ketosis right now. So I'm not too concerned about measuring my ketones, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, and we'll go from there. So, um, yeah, so that's what I've got for the day. Um, good meat day. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you tomorrow.